got my 29th star and died twice. A ghost. I believe those are just staff ghosts. I haven't actually checked it out yet. What's this? A prankster comet has appeared. Hmm. A prankster comet has... I, yeah, they just said that. I've been collecting comet medals. Yes, collecting them makes more comets appear. Oh, cool. And he's going to tell us that we brought back a Whittle guy, and the Whittle guy can tell us about the Comet Medals. Pretty much for every... No. Oh. Bye, Luigi. For every Comet Medal you collect, you may randomly summon a Comet to a galaxy that you've already gotten a star on. And obviously that Prankster Comet gives you another mission. Here, I believe it's a speed run. Not, well, not a speed run, but it. I think the mission is called a speed run, but it's not a speed run mission. No, the shadow lining. Okay, so this is a very interesting mission, to say the least. You'll see the Space Junk Galaxy platforms are back, the ones that, if you walk anywhere near them, they will magically spawn right in front of you. So here we're supposed to get star chips. Okay, not too bad so far. One star chip, two star chips, and now we get the infinitely spawning cosmic clones that you absolutely do not want to stop for and you do not want to retrace your steps. So, not bad. Yet. Work our way over here, and now things get a little more tricky. Wall kick, wall kick, wall kick. Do not fall when you're wall kicking because you will get killed by those things. You will get utterly raped by those things. Not even worth testing. Or showing you. Just don't do it. Make it on your first try. If you don't make it on your first try, it will give you hell. It really will. So continue to jump along here. Yeah, this is where the cosmic clones start getting annoying. You can grab the star bits they drop. But over here you want to be very quick, because those cosmic clones come back and they will not disappear until you break that crystal open. So if you take too long to get that, it'll be pretty much impossible for you to get the star, which is very annoying because the star is right there. But if you're quick about it, not a problem. Not at all. So there's our first Prankster Comet star, and that's why we're going to be doing so much backtracking. Because for just about every star we get from now on, I got my 30th star. We're going to get another Prankster Comet on a galaxy that we've already been to. Like, right here. These Prankster Comets seem to be appearing in the same order that they did in my practice file. I guess they're not random after all. So now we'll make use of the big world map and jump straight to... Actually, we can open that up, so I'll just do that quick. That basically opens up the warp pipe for you to go to the boss of World 3, and then after that we can go to World 4. So I could already be on World 4 right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So let's travel to the Yoshi Star Galaxy. Um, uh, this mission is annoying. It sounds like a very fun mission, and when you get the overview it looks like a cool mission, but this is not a fun mission. This is a very tricky mission, and you don't just want to run around here like a madman. It's very tempting to do that, but you don't want to do that. I would prefer you not play drums while I'm recording, thank you. So now we've got 60 seconds to kill all these spinies. Uh, basically what I like to do is try to get as many of them out with the star as I can and not have to go back. And you absolutely don't want to touch the mud. Let's kill these things. Get the store. I guess we'll get the one in the middle while we're here. Yeah, I'm probably doing a little bit better on this than I usually do. Knock these guys off. This guy's annoying because he's right by the edge. Jump. Kill you. Kill you, I said. Why are you so insistent on not dying? See if I can get the rest of these with this single star. Where's the last one? 
Oh yeah, you're right here. And thankfully, that's the last one. Also, thankfully, I didn't fall off the edge. So there's the star. Okay, that was a little bit easier than I expected it to be. But I'll take that. But as of right now, I'm not very fond of the romp missions that involve you killing all of the enemies in a limited amount of time. <sighs> it might just be that I don't like mud very much. I got my 31st star. And another galaxy complete. I'm going to try to complete all of the galaxies before I move on to the next world. Like, I want to be forced to continue on with the game. That I can't get any other stars from back here. So I'll try to knock all the early ones off first. Now for the Dig Dug Galaxy. I mean the Spin Dig Galaxy. I want to call it the Dig Dug Galaxy. I never played that game, but it looked like a lot of fun. Dig a Legs Daredevil Run. So if you've never played the first game before, a Daredevil Run is when you do the star without having extra bits of health to spare. You only have one, and if you take a hit, you die. It's that simple. You can't grab a coin to restore health, or to get more health than you have. You have one bit of health, that's it, that's all you get no more. Okay. Let's spin you dead. That's one hit. So you get star bits, but he's not going to give you any coins. And this bit I learned from Anthony's LP is that you can just spin through there and kill the drill bit things before they can kill you. I didn't actually know that. I guess we'll wait for you to flip over or have you spawn more enemies. Kill them before they have a chance to kill me. That makes this so much easier though. Thank you, Anthony. I did not know that before you did it. Send one more through here. Kill them both in one hit. Oof. Easy. Now he's gonna jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Yeah, if the last video was any indication, I cannot sing. So I'm just not going to sing. It's that simple. And he's dead. So as far as Daredevil runs go, this one's pretty easy. Then again, considering it's the very first Daredevil run in the game, it should be easy. I'm certain they'll get much more difficult as the game goes on, but I haven't encountered one yet. That was any harder than this. I'm sure I will, because there's always at least one impossible to finish Daredevil run. I got my 30 second star. And another galaxy complete. Puzzle Plank Galaxy is next. Hmm. I forget what that one is, actually. I guess we'll find out. Actually, free star bits. Let's get the star bits. Then move on to World 2. Okay. Puzzle Plank. See, it's a lot faster to negotiate these, the way the maps are. Let's see, what are you? Purple coin sh Oh boy, this is a tricky one. This really is. When I was in the vault before to get all the regular coins, I mentioned that you would want to get learn how to get all of them in one pass, and this is why. Because these shadow clones are infinitely spawning. And you do not want to have to go back to grab any coins. Oh crap. I screwed up already. Not good. Okay. Line myself up properly. I missed it again. I'll go back for it. Whatever. And thankfully they didn't change the purple coins music, because if they did, I would have been really angry. I missed a coin again? Are you serious? Uh, I should probably go back and get it, but I don't want to. I'll go back and get the coins when I need to. This is what I mean by you want to have a plan of attack, because these guys, they trace your every move and they do not stop coming. So, you want to get these on your first pass. 
Um, see if I can squeak my way by this guy. Just one more. Oh, what? Hold on, I need to finish this. Where is it? Where's that last coin? Oh, thankfully I got it. And now they all go poof and we get a whole bunch of star bits. Yay! Star bits. That's the only benefit to having to face all of those, is that you get three star bits for each one that was there. <sighs> so I made that seem a lot easier than it actually was. What do you want? I got my 33rd star. I don't think the router should affect my recording. You can go ahead and do that.